So we're really excited to launch the Custom Accelerator Lab. This is really going to transform our ability to translate the amazing discoveries we're making in the lab into new regenerative medicine therapies that are going to be able to really transform the lives of our patients with debilitating disease and really life-threatening conditions. The science that happens here and the translation and the, and the acceleration towards the clinic is arguably some of the best in the world. I worked uh, in academia, industry, big pharma, small startups, and truly, I have never seen anything like it. Custom Accelerator, it's unique. The mission of it and the goal of it is to catalyze organoids medicine revolution. The goal here is a problem happens in a baby, we research it in the lab, we accelerate it in this space, it goes out to a company, and then it comes back to us here at Cincinnati Children's and we use it in our patients. For me, that's the sort of what Cincinnati Children's is all about. It's the collaborative culture. And here we're bringing that collaborative culture of research, the clinic, but now the new piece that is enabled by this lab is the sort of infrastructure, the scale, the high throughput and the automation that typically one sees in the pharmaceutical industry. So the first area of our tour, it's cell culture area. This is the place that we are culturing the cells which are derived from patient's blood and we turn them into miniature versions of human organs, such as liver, intestine, brain, or pancreas. Uh, we have three biosafety cabinets in here and two horizontal clean benches, as well as uh, four incubators that can host the cells uh, that we then use for subsequent experiments. So the second step on today's tour is a wet lab. That's where we are bringing uh, product prototypes, where we are developing new methods and assay to test for drug efficacy and toxicity. That's where we perform the quality control of the cell products to apply them into the clinic. So now I want to show you the most important and the most exciting part of our new laboratory which hosts the most cutting edge instrumentation and robotics enabling full automation of laboratory procedures and workflows. It truly enables us to significantly accelerate the process of translation. It allows us to culture all this tissue in these small little wells of, of media which keep the cells alive. It has to be exchanged every 12 hours to refresh it, to keep that tissue alive so it can grow. And then it can also add drugs and so the test drugs that we want to test if they're toxic or if they're going to essentially cure disease in these little tissues in the dish. And it can then assay the results of those because it also has microscopes built in and so it's going to go and image these thousands of different tissues. So it's like we could assess thousands of patients in a clinical screen but all of this is happening right here. This accelerator is one great step to moving things forward and honestly with the real phenomenal help from the Farmer Foundation is one reason why this can happen and why we can accelerate those basic discoveries into medicine faster. Without them, we would still be having these amazing discoveries in the research lab. We'd have these patients that we, we could just know could benefit from this technology, and we would have no way really of bringing this technology to those patients. I think philanthropic money is really critical to drive new revolutionary technologies into the clinics. The role of philanthropy is huge because philanthropy isn't to fund all the work, it's to fund the gaps. And it's to keep the mission based on the patients and safety. That gap has really been prohibitive. So I'm incredibly excited for this opportunity to accelerate that process. At Custom Accelerator, everyone, truly everyone, is passionate about their project. Although they are working on tiny little things, it's really making a bigger picture. And the bigger picture is to find new treatments and new innovative solutions for the diseases that currently there are no cures for, including Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's, really better understanding of development of autism, and aiding in drug discovery, so really design on safer, more precise drugs. 
So I think in the next three to five years, we're going to be able to show that we can look at many drugs and look at their effects through the screening that we can do here. And so some of those sorts of applications, I think, are what we will see coming first from the Custom Accelerator Lab. But I think on the horizon, five to 10 years down the road, we'll be developing tissue from a patient's own cells that we could eventually transplant back to replace the tissue that's critically damaged. This really is one of the new frontiers in how human medicine is going to happen. Thank you.